Hey folks, I sometimes confuse people with my answers. They'll ask me questions, I'll give them my honest answer and, and they'll scratch their head wondering how a, a priest, a, a, a believer in Jesus Christ, a churchgoer could possibly think that way. An example is just last week somebody, somebody told me that liberals wanted to close down my church and that I should be careful. And my response was, that's okay because the church, it seems like the church is always at its best when it's under threat, when it's always forced to go underground or into hiding. That seems like when we get our priorities straight. What I want to shock you with today, and I it might shock everybody, it came out of another conversation where somebody said, you know, Jesus would be a Republican. And I said, no, he wouldn't. And they said, well, he wouldn't be a Democrat. I said, you're right, he wouldn't be a Democrat. Jesus does not lean to the right, and Jesus does not lean to the left. Jesus would not be a Republican, he would not be a Democrat, he would not be a conservative, he would not be a liberal. He would not be New Democratic Party. Jesus is Jesus. He is not the left, he is not the right. Jesus is the way. And there's a real danger in that for us because we often think that we're going to do what is best and what is proper, but in reality, we're stepping off of the path. We're stepping off of the way. And, and we move slightly too far left or slightly too far right. And Jesus says, but I'm the way, follow me. Stay right on me. Be right on my tail. Be right on my feet. I don't mind if you step on my feet from time to time, but stay right with me. As much as I pride myself for being a progressive, and I desperately am, I also know that I'll never be progressive enough. No matter how much I do for my neighbor, no matter how much I love my neighbor, I will never love them as much as Jesus loves them. And he is the way. No matter how much I honor God, no matter how much I respect God, no matter how much I worship, no matter how much I praise, no matter how much I love God, I will never love God as much as Jesus loves God. No matter how good I try to be, I will never be as good. And so we are called desperately not to go running off in our own directions because when we go running off in our own directions, what we end up doing is we end up creating our own gospel. We end up creating our own philosophy. We end up creating our own ideology. And Jesus says, no, stay with me. Focus on me. Let me, be your, let me be your philosophy. Let me be the core of your theology. Let me be your religion. Let me be the center of your faith. Don't worry about that stuff out there. Follow me. I will take you to where you need to go. I will take you into the places you need to go. Just keep your eyes on me. I will bring that stuff to you. You don't have to go looking for it. And so when something like inequality and injustice appears to us as it does so often, we instantly feel called, we instantly gravitate to those causes to offer our voices, to offer our talents, to offer our treasure, to offer our time to those causes, to offer justice and equality to our brothers and sisters all over the world. Because we know that to be right and good. Because that's where Jesus would go. We know it is right and good to feed others. We know it is right and good to give shelter to others. Not because it's something that is inherently inside all of us. If we look around the world, we know that's not true. We do it because... That is the direction Jesus would go. Following Jesus is to follow his teaching. It's to follow the example of his life. It's to follow him 
through the hills. It's to follow him through the towns. It's to follow him through the villages. It's to, it's to sit with him at a campfire. It's to sit with him as, as we break bread. It's to enter into Jerusalem with him. It's to go to the cross. It's to go to Calvary with him. It's to die and to be resurrected with him. It's the way of love. It's the way of compassion. It's the way of mercy. It's the way. It's the way. For me, keeping my eyes on Jesus allows me to keep my eyes on love. It allows me to keep my eyes on empathy, on mercy. It keeps me on the path even when those that I'm encountering are so unbelievably frustrating. It keeps me on the path when the things that I'm seeing, the things that I'm reading, the things that I'm absorbing drive me into fits of rage. Where all those words that I know from my younger days come flooding back and they want to erupt out of my mouth and often do in my office. I keep my eyes focused on Jesus. And by that, I keep my eyes focused on loving my neighbor as Jesus loved me. And I keep my eyes on loving God with all that I am. With everything going on in this world, it is so easy for us to step off the path to the right or to the left. It is so easy for us to go running ahead. It is so easy for us to turn around. It is so easy for us to want to jump in another direction. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of strength. But we are called to follow that path of love. We are called to follow the path of charity. We are called to follow the path of righteousness. We are called to follow the path that he is walking. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. I pray you will always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence and I pray you will not step off the path from, to the left or to the right, but you will always follow his way. Amen.